Here with Royals head coach Eric Fole. Uh, congratulations on f picking up three wins here during the weekend series against Marymount. Um, coach, if I could get you to talk real quick um, about Tristan Hildebrandt and his performance at the plate, uh, coming up with clutch performances out of the eight hole and uh, just missing the cycle a day ago uh, because he couldn't come up with a single instead he finds two doubles. And then uh, today, continuing that performance with a three for six afternoon. Um, does he remind you at all of Justin Broussard hitting out of the eight hole and coming up with uh, clutch performances like that? Or what do you attribute that kind of performance to? Uh, you know, he, he's a, a tireless worker. Uh, the kid, the kid loves, to, loves to hit, loves to play the game, loves to be around the field. Uh, he's put a, a lot of effort into, into a new philosophy and a new approach uh, for him. And uh, it took him a little while to get going, but uh, obviously seeing the fruits of, of his labor, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's got a chance to be a special player for us. You know, we hope that uh, this can get some confidence going as we roll into conference and, uh, um, you know, kind of keep him on the right track and get a couple other guys going. And, you know, I think we'll be in a good place. Uh, Coach, you had some really good performances from a couple of your relievers over the weekend. Uh, Jonathan Marriott being one of them who goes four innings today for you guys and comes up as the winning pitcher in game two of the doubleheader. Uh, what does it mean to be able to have a, a senior leader like that who can come out of the pen and really just shut down a rally by the opposing team? Yeah, you know, he, he's a gamer. He's a kid that, uh, you know, loves to be on the mound, loves to compete. Um, you know, you know we're, we're searching right now, uh, you know, with some, some illness and some injuries, uh, trying to find guys that can fill different roles. And, uh, you know, obviously he's a guy that we trust a lot. He's been in the program now for two years through a lot of really key innings for us last year and uh, is, uh, you know, probably elevated himself into a, uh, you know the role that we're looking for uh, somebody that we can give the ball to at any point in time in the game and, and trust that he's going to not only throw strikes but uh, give us a chance to get outs uh, with those strikes so uh, he did a great job uh, guys like Memo uh, out of the pen in the first game was uh, was outstanding for us Schwartz came in closed it down uh, Erickson Fish uh, you know put together another really good outing and I think uh, again you know just some uh, confidence for him to build off of but we got uh, quality starts uh, today as well too you know Carpenter was really good and so was uh, uh, so was Dumpster yesterday, you know, and, and Rucker didn't have his best stuff, but he battled and gave us a chance. So, um, you know, all around, I, I think our pitching uh, uh, performance this weekend certainly uh, took a step forward. And hopefully we can build off that and keep rolling. Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you specifically about Carpenter uh, to give you any kind of special little joy inside to see him get his first win here in the program after being around for a while but unable to be in the lineup. Yeah, you know, it, it was, uh, it's been special uh, just watching his uh, his work ethic to get himself back to where he is. He's had a setback, obviously, with the uh, with the injury, um, but, uh, you know, he's a guy that uh, uh, wants to be out here, he wants to compete, he wants to be part of this team, he wants to be a big impact guy for this team. He certainly has the ability to do that, and, um, you know, it, it was neat, you know, he was one of the first couple of guys that we had commit to the program and uh, for him to come out this weekend and, and be able to sustain long enough to, to put himself in the record book was uh, was nice, uh, certainly for him and I, I think for the guys, you know, too, to, to see what he's all about and uh, know that when he gets the ball, it, it's time to go, you know, and we're going to compete hard and we're going to work that, that game to, to you know, execute quality baseball. Well, he certainly supported him with plenty of runs in the first, uh, so 12-4 to win there. Uh, and another eight-run win in the in the second game. Congratulations on the sweep, Coach, and we look forward to next weekend's GSAC opener against William Jessup. Absolutely. Thanks, Seth. We're here with Royals second baseman, uh, Tristan Hildebrandt. Uh, you had a phenomenal weekend. Uh, the first day when you guys played on the road, you come up with uh, four hits and six at-bats, reach once more on the air. Um, just missed the cycle because you can't come up with a single. Instead, you get two doubles, a triple and a homer. And then uh, today, three for six. You, obviously, you've been seeing the ball very well here against the Marymount staff and uh, have really been able to help your teammates. What, what was working for you so well this weekend here to help your team sweep the series? Uh, for me, it was just working on seeing the ball, you know, being early, being under control, uh, and getting swings off. You know, a lot of times I would chase pitches or miss pitches I should hit and it just wasn't being aggressive at balls in the zone. So we worked on that in practice a lot this week. And, you know, just like you said, seeing the ball well, that was the, the whole key and getting swings uh, Coach Larry, obviously, in the three seasons that he's been here at Hope, has really proved that he knows how to work with hitters. Has he done anything particularly with you that really gave you success this weekend? Yeah, no, definitely. I've been staying late with him almost every day. You know, we've been working through a lot of things. Uh, changed my swing a little bit with him, uh, but spent a lot of time, and, you know, I'm thankful for the, the help he's given me so far. And, you know, we're just sticking with the process, and, you know, the outcome will take care of itself if we focus on what we've been working on. So.
Well, congratulations on such a great weekend series here. It's uh, always great to see that kind of power and consistency from the eight hole. Yeah. So uh, we'll see if you stick around there, but if not, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch wherever you're at in the lineup. And uh, thanks for chatting with us real quick. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're here with Royals uh, senior closer, reliever, uh, jack of all trades, Jonathan Marriott. Uh, you were uh, probably a little out of the frame, but uh, Coach Fole just praised you for being a guy that he, he feels like he can trust to give the ball in any kind of situation, uh, whether that's as a closer, a long reliever like you did today, picking up the win, or uh, just a tight spot in an inning. Um, you've been around the program now. This is your second season uh, mm -hmm. in your senior year. What does it mean for you to be able to contribute this way this year and to hear that kind of praise from your coach? Oh, you know, it means a lot. You know, we just come out here and try to work the best we can every day. and. You know, they put us up in the good situations to succeed, and for the most part, we just try to do the best we can to execute a good game. Uh, as you mentioned, executing a good game, uh, you, you come in in kind of a jam, and then you really shut them down for the, the next few innings, put yourself in position to get that win, the first one for you of the season. Uh, was there anything in particular that worked really well for you today against uh, a Marymount lineup? I mean, had some, had some yeah. power up and down. I knew what they were doing with the stick, but... Uh, you know, Coach Full has preached this from day one, just fill up the zone as pitchers and just try to throw as many strikes as we can and we trust and believe in what their pitch calls are and in the end, hitters usually get out more than they get on base. It's true, the percentage game is definitely weighted in favor of the pitcher, so uh, congratulations on coming up with the victory. We look forward to uh, what the rest of the season has for you and the rest of the Royals. Perfect, thank you.